Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. Sparks have been flying on Capitol Hill over the last few hours. I made a video this morning telling you about Dr. Anthony Fauci's upcoming testimony. Well, it was quite an exchange. I put the full link down below, but I want to share with you an exchange between Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene and Dr. Anthony Fauci. This is not political as far as I'm concerned. I don't agree with everything that Marjorie Taylor Greene says. Like anyone, you agree with some things and you disagree with some things. But you will notice if you watch the full testimony, a couple of things. One is that Dr. Fauci is very evasive to a lot of questions that he has asked. And secondly, members of one particular political party, you all know which party this is, keep on apologizing. When they speak to Dr. Fauci, they are apologizing for calling him to give testimony, as if we can't ask our public officials to answer legitimate questions. How did that political party go from the party of hippies to the party of the establishment and big pharma in only one generation? You will also hear about the controversy regarding Dr. Anthony Fauci signing off on horrific dog experiments, puppy experiments, that I actually talked about three years ago. This is absolutely horrible for any of us who are dog lovers to listen to. Here is the full exchange. Watch the sparks fly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Fauci, you were quoted on CBS Face the Nation saying it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science because I represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? I am a scientist who uses the scientific method to gain information. Yes, and you said you represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? Yes again, or no? It, yes or no? No, that's not a yes or no answer. Yes, it's a yes or no. I don't think it is. Okay, well, we'll take that as a you don't know what you represent. Oh, I... But this, as director of the NIH, you did sign off on these so-called scientific experiments. And as a dog lover, I want to tell you this is disgusting and evil, what you signed off on, and these experiments that happened to beagles paid for by the American taxpayer. And I want you to know Americans don't pay their taxes for animals to be tortured like this. So the type of science that you are representing, Mr. Fauci, is abhorrent, and it needs to stop. Mr. Fauci, you also represent the type of science that you, where you confess that you made up the COVID rules, including I didn't hear what you six said. feet social distancing and masking of children. I never just, said I made anything up. You admitted that you made it up. You made I didn't it up say as you went. I made it up. So are you saying this is fake news, Mr. I Fauci? I didn't say I made anything up. What did you say? I said that it is not based in science and it just appeared. But this is science. What does dogs have to do with anything that we're talking these about are, today? These are scientific experiments. This is what you signed off on. But you also told the American people they had to distance by six feet. They had to wear masks. But let's also talk a little bit further about the type of science that you represent. NIH scientists made $710 million in royalties from drug, drug makers, a fact that's been hidden. Let's talk about the fact about is it right for scientists and doctors getting paid by the American people, government taxpayer paychecks to get patents, where they're paid millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in royalty fees, especially when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country, are recommending medical uh, suggestions and advice and making up guidelines like six feet distancing and masking of children. Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor. You're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Fauci, objection. I reclaim Mr. my Chairman, time. Objection. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time, Gentilated Mr. Raskin. Gentle lady will suspend. Order. Mr. Chairman, of order. just in terms of the rules of decorum, are we allowed to deny that a doctor is a doctor just because we don't want him to be a doctor? Yes, because in my time, that man does not deserve to have a license. As a matter of fact, it should be revoked, and he belongs in General prison. Lady we, it, the gentlelady it, should recognize the doctor as a doctor. Thank you. Mr. Can Chairman, I, is this what we have become? Is this what we have devolved into? 
No I'll, decorum. You know what? We can do that hearing about the poor men that were injected with syphilis because I support you in that. That's horrific. And this government that I does things like that to Ms. Americans doesn't have decorum to the American Mr. people. Mr. Chairman, the gentleman is out of order. Point of regular order, please. The gentleman is out of order. Decorum. I recognize the point of order. Go ahead with your point of order. You got it. No, I mean, I, I, I was going to say what, what Representative Raskin said. That's completely unacceptable to be able to, to deny Dr. Fauci, uh, who's here a respected member of the, of the medical community, his title. And that's actually a personal attack on, on his character. And I have instructed her. He's not respected. And I've instructed her to address him as a doctor. General I'm not addressing him continue. as doctor. Let's talk about, I would, let's talk Mr. about Chairman, this. For, I, I'm I reclaiming my time. I'm reclaiming my time. Words get taken I'm down. I'm reclaiming then. my time. Second that. Point of order. Suspend. All right. A member can only move to have words. I'm sorry. The issues we are debating are important ones that members feel deeply about. And while vigorous disagreement is part of the legislative process, as I said at the beginning, members are reminded that we must adhere to established standards of decorum in debate. This is a reminder that it is a violation of House rules and the rules of this committee to engage in personalities regarding other members or to question the motives of a colleague. Remarks of that type are not permitted by the rules and are not in keeping with the best traditions of our committee. The chair will enforce these rules of decorum at all times and urges all members to be mindful of their remarks. Does the gentleman from California have anything further? Well, she should take her, we should have to take her words down. Yeah, I made it. I, I right. offered that her words be taken down, Mr. Chair. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a point of order. Mr. Griffin they is they accused us Mr. of Griffin worshiping is, President will, Trump. We don't worship President Trump. Gentlelady will suspend. Mr. Griffin, you have a point of order. Mr. Chairman, while it may not be uh, polite, I believe the rule only applies to uh, members of this body, the Senate, and um, the President of the United States, I do not apply, believe that it applies. The rule on taking down words does not apply to a witness. Again, I'm not condoning the words. I'm just uh, relating uh, or asking whether or not it applies to individuals who are just, just happen to be here in front of us. I agree. The chair overrules the point of order by the gentleman from Maryland, but ask that members please afford all other members the respect they're entitled, refrain from using rhetoric that could be construed as an attack on the motives or character of another member or the witness. You may proceed. Thank you. This was a time in history where you got to throw out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals baseball game while Americans were forced to stay home and watch such events that they love from at home alone on their televisions. And what a hypocrisy this picture shows. Here you are without your mask, with empty seats everywhere. Remember the cardboard cutout fans? That was one of the most insulting things to Americans, having to watch the games from home where you got to go and enjoy the game and sit right next to people, not following the six feet of distancing, not wearing your mask, and everyone else was forced to stay home and stop enjoying life. And your science here, your science is displayed perfectly in this picture where children Children in school were put in plastic bubbles because of your science, your repulsive, evil science. And let's go back to your very own email. You said earlier you don't use email. Oh, you do. Right here. This is your own email where you said the typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out virus. I do not recommend that you wear a mask. This is your email. This is your own words. But yet children, children all over America were forced to wear masks. Healthy children forced to wear masks muzzled in their schools. And then they were forced to learn from home because of your so-called science and your medical suggestions while you and all your cronies get paid from Big Pharma. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison. 
Dr. Fauci.